Mr. Peterson, let me introduce you to our new staff. His name is Thomas. Nice to meet you, Thomas. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Peterson. I hope you'll be enjoy here. I hope so. Thank you very much, sir. How long are we allowed to go for lunch? It is 30 minutes for lunch break. If it is only a 30 minute break, can I leave 30 minutes early? No, I'm afraid you can't. And is there a strict policy on working hours? Yes, there is. Everyone has to start work at 8 a.m. and finish work at 4 p.m. Are we allowed to start work an hour later if we work an hour more? No, we aren't. There is no flexi time. What is the dress code here? Are we allowed to wear casual clothes on Friday? No, we aren't. We need to wear a uniform every day we come to work. Are there any more questions? I think we should get back to work. Oh, just one more question. If I have 10 vacation days, am I allowed to use them all at once? Yes, you can, but you need to give one month notice. Thank you for answering all the questions. I really appreciate that. Number one. Hey Lisa, I'm going to the new art gallery on the weekend. Would you like to come with me? Sorry, I can't. I have to study for exams on the weekend. Number two. Some of my friends and I are going to sing karaoke tonight. Do you want to join us? Thanks, I'd love to. It sounds like fun. Number three. There's a technology show at the International Convention Center. Would you like to go? Yes. I'd love to. Will they have smartphones? I need a new one. Number four. Hey Jim, we're going to see a concert tonight at the stadium. I was wondering if you'd like to go? Thanks for asking, but I have to work tonight. Number five. Tony, there's a big sale at Central. Do you want to come with me? We could get some cheap brand name clothes. Sure, I love buying brand name clothes. Number six. Hey BJ, there's a new horror movie playing tonight. I'm going with some friends. Can you come? Sure. I love horror movies. What time are you going to meet? Hello. My name is Martha and I'm from Taiwan. I'm a flight attendant with China Airlines. But I usually celebrate my birthday with my family. We go to a restaurant in the evening and eat dumplings and noodles. My parents and my grandmother always give me money. This year I'm going to have a party. I hope all my friends can come. Hi, I'm Kenji, and I live in Tokyo. My birthday is on May 14th. I often go to the park and have a picnic with my friends. I don't usually celebrate my birthday with my family, but they buy me presents. This year, I'm going to be 18. And my mother and father are going to buy me a guitar. My name is Sun Hee, and I'm from Busan in Korea. It's my 20th birthday next week. 20 is a very special age in Korea, so my friends are going to have a party for me. I don't always have a party. In fact, I usually don't celebrate my birthday at all. But my mother sometimes cooks a special meal for my family. 1. I'm bored. Why don't you read a book? Nah, I don't feel like reading. 2. I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. Why don't we order pizza? That's a good idea. 3. Let's do something tonight. How about seeing a movie? Sure. What movie do you want to see? 4. I've got a headache. Why don't you take an aspirin and rest? Thanks, I will. 5. Where should we meet? How about the coffee shop next door? It's too noisy. Let's go someplace quiet. 6. I need some exercise. 
How about going for a walk with me? Sure, I'll get my shoes. 7. That was a long day. I'm exhausted. Why don't you go to bed early? I can't. I still have work to do. 8. I'm broke. Why don't you borrow some money from your brother? I can't. He's broke too. What are needs? Needs are things that you must have to live, like food, water, air, and shelter. We need food to eat and water to drink to help keep our bodies healthy. We need air for our lungs to breathe. And we need shelter, like a house or an apartment, to keep us safe. What else do you need? We all have different needs to stay safe and healthy. What are wants? Wants are things you would like to have, like toys, games, candy, and computers. Wants might be fun to have, or they might even make your life easier. But you don't need them in order to survive. What types of things do you want? Sometimes it can be difficult to decide if something is a need or a want. Let's look at a few examples and see what you think. Hmm, a hamburger. Is that a need or a want? Well, you do need food to survive, but do you have to have a hamburger? No, that just might be the type of food that you want. How about trees and plants? Are those things that we need or want? Well, plants are really important because they create other things that we need, like oxygen to breathe, and a lot of the food that we eat comes from plants. What are your bad habits? I think everyone has bad habits. Not everyone agrees on what bad habits are. Some smokers don't think smoking is a bad habit. In Japan, slurping your noodles is a sign that you enjoy your food. But making a noise while eating in England is not good. Have you ever tried to break your bad habits? I have quit smoking. I wish other people would stop their bad habits. I get annoyed when people are late for meetings or talk loudly on their phones in public. I also think many motorists need to think about their driving habits. Perhaps I should point out their bad habits. Hi Mary, what did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought a new dress. I also saw a movie at the cinema. Which movie did you see? Jurassic Park 3. What did you do after? Well, I went home, took a shower, and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, Tom and I ate at the Green Steak. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. And you, Peter, what did you do last weekend? Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. What did you do? <coughs> I had a cough and a fever, and I stayed home. Poor you. 1. My mother and father are very different. My mom is older than my dad, but my dad looks older than my mom. My dad is more active because he plays sports. My mom is more talkative. She loves to talk with people. My dad is taller than my mom. My mom is shorter than my dad. Two. Los Angeles and San Francisco are both in California, but they are very different. San Francisco is smaller than Los Angeles. It is also colder. Los Angeles is bigger than San Francisco, but San Francisco is more expensive. It is harder to find housing in San Francisco. I think San Francisco is a better place to live. What are you going to do here, Grandma? Well, 
I'm gonna make pizza. Can I help you? Yes, but you should wear an apron. Perfect. First we must mix everything, in order to obtain the dough. Now we must roll the dough with the rolling pin. Can I slice the onion? No, you shouldn't. Why not? Because your eyes may start to burn. But you can cut the bacon. You must be careful with the knife. And you shouldn't cut it so fast. Now we must put it in the oven. How long should we bake our pizza? We shouldn't bake it for more than 15 minutes. It could get burned. Let's eat pizza now. You must be very hungry. Grandma, could you pass me the ketchup, please? Of course, here you are. Thanks. I would like an ice cream now. Let's go to the park and have some ice cream. Shall I take my bike too? And shall I take my roller skates? Sure, you can take your bike and roller skates too. What did you buy at the shop, John? Try to guess. It's made of plastic and metal. It needs electricity to work. It is used for keeping the room cool. Is it a fan? Correct. The next thing I bought is rectangular and is very soft. It is used for sleeping. Is it a pillow? Correct. The third thing I bought is used for moving things around in the garden. It is made of metal. It has one wheel and two handles. Hmm. Is it a wheelbarrow? Yes, it is. The last thing I bought is a brown powder, and it is used for giving us energy. You bought coffee. Correct. Hey, Tom. Tell me, do you have any new friends in school this year? Yep. Well, tell me about them. What are their names? Well, there's Patrick and then there's Marcel. Tell me about Patrick first. What does he look like? Oh, I don't know. He's got short, black, straight hair, like me, but he's a little taller than I am. And what's he like? What kind of person is he? He's pretty funny. He's always telling jokes in class. Sometimes the teacher gets upset, though, because he's so talkative in class. I hope you don't talk too much in class. No, I don't. I don't have to. Patrick just keeps on talking and talking. And so, tell me about Marcel. What does he look like? He's a lot shorter than Patrick, and he has brown hair, a round face, and he wears glasses. I think he looks like Harry Potter. Hey, can he do magic? Who? Harry Potter? No, your friend Marcel. Uh, maybe. I don't know. And so, what kind of person is Marcel? He's like me, I guess. We both like to play video games, and we always talk about video games at lunch. Video games, huh? Hey, mom's out shopping right now. So, um, do you want to play that new video game that you got last week? What's it called? Minecraft or something like that? Okay. So, Billy, are you good at sports? I am pretty good at sports. I can play basketball and baseball, and I can run pretty fast, but I cannot jump that high. Can you play soccer? No, I cannot play soccer well because I am not good at kicking the ball. Can you sing well? No, I can't sing at all. Can you play an instrument? No, I cannot play an instrument. No, I cannot play an instrument either. I have no talent in music. Are you good at cooking? I cannot cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah, what can you cook? I can cook an omelet, and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do.
The Panama Canal is an artificial waterway in the Central American country of Panama that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. It is only 82 kilometers long. It takes around 8 to 10 hours to cross the canal. The French started building the canal in 1881, but they couldn't finish it. The project was started again in 1904 by the United States and the canal was finally finished in 1914. Many people died while they were building the canal, some say up to 25,000. For the rest of the 20th century, the United States controlled the canal but gave control back to Panama in 2000. Every year, around 40,000 ships come through the canal. These are mostly commercial ships. They transport goods for trade between Asia and America or Europe. Here's the weather. Welcome to the weather forecast. Now, let's see what the weather is like today. In the north of the country, it's very windy and cold. There's a chance of some rain too. So, don't leave home without your umbrella. The temperature is around 10 degrees centigrade. In the east, it's rainy all day today. There may be a thunderstorm in the afternoon. The temperature is a bit higher at around 13 degrees. In the west and middle of the country, the weather is dry but cloudy. So, no rain for you but it is quite windy and the temperature is just 10 degrees. The south of the country has the best weather today. It's cloudy most of the time but sunny in the afternoon. The temperature is around 15 degrees. Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily, how are you today? Fine. Good, and how was school today? Really fun. Good, and what did you do? We made books. You made books, okay. And what else? We we made paper kangaroos. You made paper kangaroos. Okay, and what did you need to make your paper kangaroos? What kind of supplies did you need? We used crayons, paper, glue, and we had to follow directions. Well, good. And then Mom said that you went to the junior high school. I rode my bike in the tennis court. Did you go by yourself? I went with the whole family, and we went with Nathan, Sarah, Rachel. You went with your cousins? And my mom. Well, that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Okay. Wow. What? I've won a competition. Have you? Fantastic. What's the prize? A weekend for two. Um, train travel, hotel, museum tickets. Oh, really? That's great. But we have to use it the weekend after next. So that's Saturday the 20th? Yeah. We have to go to John and Charlotte's wedding, remember? Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh, what a pity. Okay, so who do we know who could use the prize? So Hannah, tell me, um, do you cook much? Yes, I always cook. I often cook with my roommate. How about you? Well, um, I don't really cook that often because I'm really busy during the week. So um, I'll just, I always get something in, in the shop and eat that. So do you ever eat out? Um, only occasionally. So how about you? Uh, well, I always cook, so I normally go and eat out on the weekends with my friends or family. Hi Nadia, Elena here. I've got some fantastic news. Next month we're moving into our new house. Isn't that great? And we're having a party to celebrate. Would you like to come? We're moving on the 28th of June, but the party's not until the 14th of July, one day after your birthday. You and Max can come any time, of course, but the party won't start until 7.30. Our house is in Hampton. There's no number, just a name. Highbridge. That's H-I-G-H-B-R. I D G 
E. I'll email you directions later. Don't bring any presents, but can you make some of your delicious homemade strawberry ice cream? Bye!